it really is really depressing. You know, it's like it's like a no hope type of a thing. If something's not done. I know this is going to probably stand here probably in, until doomsday. In tonight's Ronnie to the rescue, exposing a businessman who's not doing right by his neighbors. He left behind a crumbling commercial building in Detroit and now a fire ravaged building in Highland Park. Our Ronnie Dahl has the details. According to the Highland Park Fire Chief, the property owner has been ordered to tear down the fire damaged building and clear away the debris. However, the work has yet to be done and it's the neighbors who have to live with the mess. It's been two months. This still smells. Yeah, it really do. It's been smelling for since it started and it's continuing to smell over here. And life hasn't returned to normal for Highland Park residents following the massive fire at the commercial building on Hamilton Avenue. It really is really depressing. You know, it's like it's like a no hope type of a thing, you know, when you look at stuff like that. In the days and weeks since the devastating blaze, the twisted metal and piles of debris haven't been touched. Decent folks that are still in this city should not have to uh, to bear this burden. The man responsible for the cleanup, Jeffrey Suskin, the same man who's trying to stick taxpayers with the $386,000 demolition tab on his Central Avenue property in Detroit. It has to come down because after years of neglect, it's been declared a danger to the public. Suskin has been dodging me and his lawyer wouldn't talk either. Yes, hi, Mr. Moss. This is Ronnie Dollar at Channel 7. Suskin has money to pay an attorney, but not his taxes. He owned more than 100000 in back taxes on his Detroit property, but he let it go into foreclosure to become Wayne County's headache. But first, he scrapped out the valuable metal, and when he did, he cut corners and got cited by city officials in 2014 for the illegal work. And now the Michigan Department of Environmental Quality is after him, issuing a violation March 24th for not cleaning up demolition debris, including asbestos waste material. Suskin's money troubles followed him to Highland Park. Terrible. It was over 300000 Terrible. Terrible. Yep, Suskin is at risk of losing the Highland Park property, but he is making payments. A week after the fire, he did go make a $99.25 payment. Really? <laughs> a $99.25? Come on. Are you sick? Are you? Oh, wow. 99 bucks on a $300,000 tax bill. And now he has to cover the cost of the demolition and cleanup following February's fire. Something's not done. I know this is going to probably stand here probably in, until doomsday. The cause of the fire is still under investigation, and believe it or not, all this time later, I'm told it's still not clear if Suskin had insurance on the property. Highland Park officials and previous tenants are getting the runaround. In Highland Park, Ronnie Dell, 7 Action News. A makeover.